can't wait news. to get Chinese with you. I'm never really excited about it. No, I'm not letting you leave. Get off me no. so I can order no, it. No, I'm smothering you. No. Ow, you got my leave. hair. No. Oh, do you know what? Sometimes being close to you isn't as good as not being close to you. Let's You're share, on my head. Let's, let's share lip gloss. Yeah, no, let's. Momentum. Momentum. <laughs> Embarrassing edition. The last time we did it, we did it on Rosie's channel and we eased ourselves in gently. Yeah. But this time, there's no going back. Oh, oh my god, look at your little booties. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. yeah. You didn't look as a child like I thought you'd look. But in all the baby photos, you look the same. But I don't think yeah. you look anything like you. Really. Oh my god, plot twist. Do you reckon that's not me? My mum just gave me pictures of a child that wasn't me because she lost all of them because I was the third child. My mum cut my fringe herself, thanks. My mum cut my fringe herself, but she didn't do it as well as that. When did she do it last? Ah, oh, Laura's being typical Laura there. Yeah, okay, just because she's scratching her head, because she's probably thought of some kind of like, theory, or some kind of like, new equation, or some kind of like, you know, life philosophy. And John's just just John like, where's the food? Have you ever seen anybody rock a diaper so hard? Apart from Jenny Death. <laughs> I love this picture of you. Okay. I used to perv on this in 2000 and something. And it's on your face 2011, so, maybe? Yeah, and it was in your tagged pictures, and I was like, who that girl? Right, this is my next picture. And what I love about this picture isn't what's going on in the forefront of the picture, but if you look close enough, we're actually outside Nicola's blowjob parlor. <laughs> And that's something that, you know, it's like, you know how artists like hide things in their imagery. You're looking at what's going on, I'm bent over, there's a giant rod there, what's gonna happen? I look like I'm having fun. But look closer, Nicholas Blowjob Parlour. And look even closer, someone in there. Were you an employee? Classic party dicks! Yeah, this is a classic party dicks. This is a party. I like how you're trying to look like you're in the mood. But your face is so against, like, what your body's no, going through. No, 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 no. My face, okay, is too cool for my own hands. Oh my god, I love this picture. Okay, so basically, we were dating for a little while, just a little while, the first few weeks, and then you posted this New Year's Eve album of you and Anna just being, like, in your underwear around a flat, and I was literally just like... So I nearly went blind and I had to go to special eye doctor and he told me, right, you can't go to work, you have to stay at home and you have to put a drop in your eye every hour. So I couldn't go to sleep because what was the point? I'd sleep for like 15 minutes and then I'd have to wake up and put drops in my eyes, right? So I was like, bring, hey Anna, come round, like let's party for 48 hours because I have to stay up as long as I keep putting the drops in my eyes, I'll be fine. I got called into work. Oh yeah! For me, and they were like, um, you said you were ill, but there's all these pictures on Facebook of you in your pants. And I was like, yeah? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, I was ill. I nearly went blind. And they were like, get a doctor's note. And I was like, here it is. And they were like, oh. And I was like... And then do you know what you did? What? Hi this. Hi there. Anna, sexy dancing for me. And me, you naturally caught that picture. I was literally like, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is me in 2012 with my girl band. Um, this is when I visited the, I think it's called Bedouin People in Egypt, in Sinai Desert. So that was me. It was a graduation present actually to myself to go to Egypt with my sister in 2012. We were together. I was so jealous when you went to Egypt. Really? You took this selfie because you stayed over at Laura's, didn't you? Because she lived like close to the airport. Yeah. And um, you took a selfie of you in like a hat and a t shirt and leggings, and I was like, oh. She looks so good. Really? She's going away. Oh, she but you just broke up with me. That's why it hurts so bad. You yeah. broke up with me only to go and have a fabulous holiday in Egypt. And I was like, great. She's going to be all tan. She's going to look all sexy. And she's gone away. And what did you do? You got severe, severe heat burn or whatever. And you swelled up. And you look like a tomato. Hi, Liz. Okay, this is a couple of days after I got Flynn. It's not the oh. same day because I'm wearing my work uniform. Cute. I know, it looks adorable. And this Look, it's before we got all angry at everyone. You know, he's still angry yeah. though. He was so adorable, but I had to put this one in. Oh, he's so cute. Do you know what? I've got one of Baby Dexter. Do you want to see it? Yeah, let's see Baby Oh, he's not as cute, but... Oh, actually, this is one of Dexter when I was drinking a beer, and he was like, can I have some? And I was like, hi, this. This is how thin I was when we started dating. I know, you were a bit too thin, I, I think. I was too you thin. Really thin. For your body type, like, I'm not saying that... 
girls shouldn't be thin. I'm just saying for your body. Sounds like you're shaming. I love skinny. Sounds shame. like you're skinny shaming. I felt like you. I felt like you were unhealthily thin for you. That sounds like jealousy. So, I wasn't jealous. You're not coming across very well this video. This is actually quite a famous picture for you and I because not famous. It was one of the first pictures I saw of you in school, and obviously, you know, I know the other girl fairly well, and so do you. But um, you wore this really oversized shirt, and I thought it was really sexy. And I remember thinking, ooh. You're really sexy. Yeah, I, I thought it was so cool at school. Basically, uh, all the girls wore like tight fitted shirts, but I just used to grab my brother's shirts because obviously we were all at school and like rob their shirts. And then, but it would, it would be long and baggy, but it would hide my skirt. So I looked like I was only wearing a shirt. This is my prom picture. I don't know what to say about it. First of all, what's my face? I think you look nice. Crazy. I've got no eyebrows in the right. middle. They you start. Go and an end. You look exactly like Michelle Branch. Wait, let me Google image. I'm literally showing you. No, let, I no, don't. Let me Google image. Let me. I've decided that I'm going to reveal my 19 year old self. Not only because it's time, but because I feel like you and I have a relationship that can handle the pressures this photograph will put on it. <laughs> also, you're a swan now, and that's what counts. Thanks. Everybody had to go through puberty and have that battle. Hey! I was a late developer. You were just late. Alright, 19 struck and then my testicles fell. Okay, here we go. I mean, I like it. Shut, shut up! Okay, shut up! Alright, that's not true. First of all, let's analyse what I'm wearing. Uh, you have dungarees now. What's the top got on it? It's a slogan tee. I don't know what it says. Probably, I'm 19, can you tell? Talk me through the cup. Okay, well the cut was all about experimentation, okay? Yeah. Me and Emma, like, I'm a lesbian, so I'll cut my hair short, see if I get more women like I did when I shaved my head. Yes. Is that what you did? Yes. Genuinely. I obviously did it for a reason. So yeah, I think I just cut my hair off because I wanted to see what that was like. Regret, regret, regret. <laughs> there it is again. Just promoting the scene by next I think. <laughs> I think you look like your friend Tom there. Yeah, I do. Like, exactly like him. But do I look like my friend Tom here? <gasps> like I said, there's no real excuse. Um, I'm not sure what's happening, but my dad looks great. Have you got no makeup on that? I have makeup on. Ah, oh, you don't have eye makeup on? I do, that was a strong wind that day. Sexy! So, I can put a bit of context in this. This is when I was 17, right? and I got obsessed with Mean Girls and the mum from Mean Girls, who loads of people say I look like now, I can't say I'm Amy Powler. You look great in pink, babe. Thank you, babes. This is when I had a front part and I felt like I used to rock it. I think you did used to but rock it. But now I can't rock it. I think it's because now you look more like a mum, so if you did revert back to your teenage phase, it would just look weird. Why do I look like a mum? I don't have wrinkles, I use anti-wrinkle cream. Oh, is that because you look like a mum? Why do I look like a mum? This morning you said, oh, I like you in your next get up mum gear. Yeah, because... Well, your words hurt and I don't forget. But everyone knows mum shop at Nats. Yeah, well, they're the only jeans that fit. Okay? That's really mean. Fashionable mums. Thank you. Let's, let's analyse this picture. First of all, where? Okay, can I tell you that? Second of all, why? I have entire... I have an entire album on Facebook dedicated to this night. It's called The Night I Fell Down and Couldn't Get Back Up. And basically I was so drunk, right? I was like running into the toilets, right? I was stumbling. Yeah. And I fell. Yeah. And then I couldn't get back up. Right. And I was just on the floor like, help. So this is like the first bit. And, and my friend just stood by and took photos. Yeah, I went, right, so I went for this face of wearing jackets or everything. So this is like, this is, this is me trying to get back up, right? Almost there, almost there, right? But back down again. I literally like fell asleep. This is a toilet floor. That's classic Pydix. Actually, Pydix looks happier in this. You're right. Pydix is happy, but let tell me, tell me the shrug. No, so I don't know what I'm wearing. Do you think it went with the outfit? No, I wore it. I, I, so I'm... what? What's with the surfer necklace? With the shrug, like interesting combination. It's not a shrug. It was a tiny petite thing for the bridal section of next. Wait, let me Google what those are called. That's really hurtful. Why would you do such a thing? Okay, I was at a barn dance, and for some reason I wore that. And um, for some reason that photo was taken. Wait, I'm googling what to call a shrug. <laughs> You're really, really cruel. All right. Okay. So the I think you mean a shrug. <laughs> Hold on one sec. I'm excited. This is me and my ex-boyfriend. First of all, you look like brother and sister. Second of all, he seems into you. 
Yeah, it was really intimate. I noticed your hair's getting a bit longer. Yeah. You know, an inch like that. Ironically, right, and this is true. I was at an 18 year old birthday party for a girl I was actually in love with, but I was with him. Him. Chris is actually my oldest friend's twin brother. So we had a really good like friendship that then led to sex. And that didn't work out. Not anything is wrong with him, no, Chris. Just you didn't do anything wrong. Getting in the way. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, and then I thought I was in love with someone else, so I was probably looking at her while I was drinking my pint of water. Why do you keep in party dicks the happy one you're drinking pint of water as well? Pint like, water. What were you doing? Was it that you were like maybe Sober. sweating a lot so you needed so to replenish? Look, party dicks moves fast. Maybe your right? shrug was too hot, and so that's why. Bisexual me has got a lot of women in underwear. I took out FHM magazines all over my room, and my mum came in and was like, "Oh, I see you've got like loads of semi-nude women on your walls." And I was like, "Yeah." And she was like, "That's fine by me, but take down the topless ones because your sister's like three. And I was like, "Oh, okay." That's fine. So I did that. Like she was like, "That's fine. Take down the topless ones." I had a lot. Of <laughs> That is so Tinder really. I know. Tinder really? I think it's just my space really. Interesting story. It was New Year's Day and um, that's me and Which my friend. New Year's Day? 2009. Okay. That's me and my best friend Tom just casually posing for a picture as best friends do. This is me with Ella in 2008. We're at Madison Square Garden watching the Knicks play. Um, so I look stunning. So. I actually don't think you look that bad. I know. I just said I look stunning. Listen. Alright guys, those were our old photos. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you cringed just as much, if not more, than I did. We will see you next week. Um, have a good week. My advice would be, if you want to get through it and survive, um, always treat people how you'd want to be treated, unless they're an asshole. So, take care, God bless. Subscribe, like, comment on this video. Subscribe to Rosie's if you want to see more vlogs on her channel and everything she has to offer. And we will see you very, very soon. Okay, bye. bye.